Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for a Monday, December 13th, 2021. Today we're pulling from the Nightmare Before Christmas Tarot cards. So we're starting off with the Nine of Presents. So Nine of Presents is all about, or well, Pentacles, is all about uh, rebirth. So interjection of energy into a situation, safety and security. So all the things we love, you know, what a great way to start off the week. We have this childlike energy you know, this brand new beginning. So we have 12, 12 in the sky. So filming ahead of time, you guys know that I'm transparent about that to keep up with readings. So we have the fool. So this inner, inner, innocent energy, this childlike energy into a new situation and we're excited for it. I definitely feel like because Chiron will be leaving the sky on the full moon, it's the first light that we've had in three cycles. And I mean, for the forecast and projections. So we had the full moon and the new moon and shadow. So this is the first bright, beautiful, because it is a full moon, a most magnifying light we've had in, you know, three cycles. So I feel like, you know, we, we were, that was like the final purge. You know, we, we went through things. I feel like, you know, strengthening your belief systems. We have the night of uh, potions, which is the Nine of Cups. So those of you that have been asking for love, they're saying that this support system is coming in to love and back you on this new adventure. We have the um, world. So we're choosing a door. So with this portal for uh, 12, 12, 12 to 1221 is talking about a leveling up. For some, this is like opening up that door to the other side of things. Um, so I feel like, you know, set your manifestations, your intentions, um, I also encourage people as you set those manifestations and intentions, anything that you could think of that you can be grateful for, send out that gratitude. Thank you for X, Y, and Z, whatever has come into your life. You know, um, you know, we like to ce celebrate our, our accomplishments. And I feel like sometimes, um, when we celebrate those, especially on social media, people you you try to spin it or send things to us you know, to make it negative. So it's like being thankful for those positive things that are happening in our life at the same time showing that gratitude we have the wheel of fortune i definitely feel like for a lot of us the second half of the year has just been tumultuous tumultuous if i can speak and i feel like you know for some of us the wheel has not turned in you know days months years i feel like you know if you've gone through a separation a loss a bereavement a divorce it's like you know you had to heal and go through this purge and everything else that you've gone through to sit there and come to the other side of things. And I feel like this is going to be a very sweet season for you. They were showing me the number six for IG. So I feel like the next six months, by the grace of God, six years is going to be very sweet. So, you know, let's see where this takes us. So we're starting on the far left with the nine of presents. The nine of presents represents material abundance. You've made your dreams come true and are reaping the rewards for your hard work. Now that you have everything you need, it's important to set yourself up for sustainable success by managing your income wisely. So I feel like, you know, I feel like also highlighting those giving people in your life that sit there and bring that positivity into your life. You know, maybe sometimes we overlook people, you know, we're putting our energy into the wrong people. And I feel like, you know, universe has a way of showing that. So we're going over to the right with the fool. So channel Jack's child uh, like enthusiasm as you take your brave steps towards something new with luminous potential there's no telling how far you'll go so you know i feel like you know release all fear worry and doubt following your intuition you know um don't let you know anything hold you back there you know because there's nothing to fear at all you know very much like leo bravery courage strength resilience it's like you know You've been through so much, so let's, you know, don't, let's just see what, you know, the universe has in store for us. So we go to the nine of, the knight of potions, not the nine, the knight. And this is the nine of cups, knight. I keep saying nine. It It, it is graceful, effortless, uh, fluid uh, figure who backs up your dreams with force, momentum, and action. A rejuvenation with a kind heart. The Knight of Potions is here to encourage you to find your passion. It is time to explore ideas and, ca and causes that move that causes you to move uh, forward. So I, I feel like it's that belief system. And I definitely feel like if you've grown up in a childhood where, you know, always naysayers or even in adulthood, naysayers, you know, maybe previous relationships, whatever. I feel like this person is going to be your number one. You're backing your biggest cheerleader. 
So then we go to the uh, world. You've done it. You've come so far, been through so much and learned so many beautiful, powerful lessons along the way. You're feeling satisfied, happy and whole. Consider sharing your experiences with others. You have the ability to inspire people. You know, and everyone says, like, don't share. People will da -da -da, judge you. They're going to judge no matter what you do. I post the most positive things and people are always uh, sitting there. Oh, this, this, that, and the other. It's like, yeah, okay, delete, block, bye. You know, out of sight, out of mind. You don't, you're not going to matter to me in five seconds, five minutes, five years. Bye-bye. You know, so it's like, mm, don't give any, don't even give it five seconds of thought. You know what I mean? So just speaking to someone before I started posting, they were getting anxious about the future. And I said, hold on a second. Let me ask you something. I said, right now in this moment, if I could make that happen, would you do it? No. Then why are you worried about it? I said, we worry too much of the past, too much of the future. I said, live in the moment. Go to sleep, have a good night's sleep, and I'll talk to you in the morning. Okay. You know? It's just sometimes you got to sit there. You know, I, I do this to myself all the time. You know? And I just, you know, I'm glad that I'm able to share that with her. You know? And I'm teach, trying to teach myself that. I'm trying to teach my kids that. You know? In this moment right now, does it matter? Nope. The don't pay it, no mind. So the Wheel of Fortune... We're ready to take that next step. You definitely get that with the fool. You've reached a turning point in your a, a turning point in your life. The mom, the moment when the storm clouds part, the sun comes out, and your luck begins to change. Now be may now may be the time to make a big move. Uh, whatever you you switch. Oh my gosh! Whether it's switching your career, beginning a new romance, we definitely get that right above with the Knight of Potions. Um. Jumpstart lifestyle shifts, a reloc relocating across the country, you'll have good fortune on your side, you know, and I definitely feel like you're ready for this. I feel like this is something you've called in. This is why I always tell people, set out your manifestations. But, you know, one thing we also should do is remember all the positive things that have happened, all the things that we prayed for that we're now enjoying. Let's not forget those things. Let's be grateful for those things, showing our gratitude. Thank you so much for X, Y, and Z. Thank you so much for allowing this to happen so I'm able to do X, Y, and Z. You know, so it's just like being grateful for every single thing that has come in when you can think of it. You know, I usually do it during like Shabbat or something like that. But it's like, you know, just sit there and light a candle and just let it burn. And then anytime you think of it, just, you know, have it. And, you know, I have uh, come manifest with me. It's uh, tagged on my IG. It's on TikTok. I do believe I posted it on uh, YouTube as well. If I'm not mistaken, I try to share it on as many platforms as possible, but that's the way I manifest. And it's just like letting, letting it go, let the universe handle it, let the universe take care of it. But it's also showing our gratitude, you know, and this is the time of year showing gratitude, you know, everything we prayed for that we're grateful for. If you're able to, it doesn't matter how small the donation is. The universe sees that, you know, if they're having a harder year than at every, any other year, you know, even if it's $5, $2, $1, we know that they're donating as much as they can. You know, so, you know, do it. And it's not even about as much as you can. I feel like it's like, you know, we put too much of that, that, oh, I donated a hundred million dollars. Yeah, but you have that hundred million dollars to donate and you're probably going to use it as a tax write off. So is it really a donation? No. Whereas other people give and it's like, they don't even put that on their taxes. They're just like, you know what? The universe sees what I do. It doesn't matter about the tax donation or write off. This is, I'm donating it, you know, just to, to sit there and hopefully make some sort of difference in someone else's life because, the universe has answered my prayers, my manifestations, whatever this have you that this is. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Monday, December 13th, 2021. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.